Assalamualaikum my dear students I hope all of you are fine and doing well so topic here we are going to discuss it is the peculiar behavior of the fullerene so fullerene is it is basically a halogen that belongs to group 7a it contains seven electrons in its valence shell and fullerene it is basically a non-metal which is the first member of the halogens and the halogens contain fullerene F2 it contains chlorine, bromine and iodine in which the fullerene is the first member of the halogen so it is having some different characteristics from this so it, these behavior or these characteristics is known as its peculiar behavior of the fullerene so Fullerene, its atomic number is 9, it contains 9 electrons and 9 protons as well as its atomic weight is 18.998 which can be written as 19 gram per mole. Its symbol is capital F. Electronic configuration is for the helium or next 2s2, 2p5 so the whole is 1s2, 2s2, 2p5 in which the last one's shell is L shell valence shell that contain 2 plus 5 7 electrons in its valence shell. This color shows that it is a halogen and its physical state at 20 degrees Celsius it is present in the gas form. So this is a simple overview about the halogen fullerene. Next we will talk about its peculiar behavior. So the first is behavior is small size of atom and ion. When fullerene is present in the atomic form, like it contains nine electrons, so the center nucleus, the first shell, and then the second shell. So the first shell contains two electrons, and the last one shell contains seven electrons. This is the simple fullerene atom. But when it gains one more electron, like this center nucleus, the first shell, and this is the second shell. First shell contain two electrons, and the last one shell already having seven electrons, and now it gains one more electrons. It is just changes into the fluoride ion F minus one. So the size of its atom is 0.64 angstrom in which 1 angstrom is equal to 10 raised to power minus 10 and when it is changes into F minus here its size is 1.33 angstrom so there is an increase in its size when it is changes into its ion form or its anion. So this is its first peculiar behavior. After this its second we have it contains high ionization energy like if you plot a graph between its ionization energy and its total number of electrons that are present are seven electrons in the valence shell so its first ionization energy is 16 18 kilojoule per mole the second is 33 7, 3, 7, 4 kilojoule per mole the third one is 60 50 kilojoule per mole then 8411, then 11,023, 15,000, 164, and the last one energy to remove the seven electron is 17,868. So, with the passage of time, there is a gradual increase in the ionization energy, and ionization enthalpies or the energies are the energies that are required to remove the electron from the valence shell. So if you want to remove the valence shell electrons like the first shell and here it is the second shell. So the first shell contains two electrons and the last one shell contains seven electrons. So if you want to remove all these electrons from the valence shell of the fullerene, so there is an increase in the ionization enthalpies or the heat in kilojoule per mole. Then there is a behavior of fullerene like its low dissociation energy. The low dissociation energy of fullerene or FF bond that is called as bond dissociation energy. 
it is 38 or 38 kilocalories per mole and this is low as compared to the chlorine and bromine that have high bond dissociation energy bond dissociation energy is the amount of energy released or amount of energy absorbed when we required to break the bond between two atoms so the amount of energy required for this it is called as bond dissociation energy then we have behavior of fullerene that it is as behaving like a direct combustion or direct combination with the inert gases now the first is xenon which is present in the excess when fluorine is going to be react it forms xenon difluoride but when xenon is present in one ratio 5 with the fluorine then it produces xenon tetrafluoride and when the ratio of xenon is one ratio 2 it produces xenon hexafluoride that is xcf6 and here the xenon it is a noble gas or called as the inert gas and then we have xenon tetrafluoride xef4 when it is going to react with the oxygen monofluoride o2f2 and temperature is 143 kelvin then the two products are formed oxygen gas and the xenon hexafluoride so that's why the fluorine can have direct combination with the inert gases now this is because it can react with these noble gases as compared to the other elements then there we have behavior of fullerene the first one is restriction of the valence shell now the word here we have the restriction of the valence shell to an octet if we just have a look on its valence shell it contains two electrons in the first shell and next seven electrons in the valence shell it requires one more electron to complete its octet but due to the restriction of the valence shell to an octet there are many of the fluoro compounds that show inertness and what type of these elements or compounds we have cf4 and we have sf4 and also due to this restriction the fullerene just remains restricted to minus one oxidation state it just have minus one oxidation state but if we talk about the bromine chlorine and iodine they may have minus one plus one plus 3 plus 5 and plus 7 oxidation state but fluorine is just restricted to minus 1 oxidation state and on the other hand fluorine is the only element that can combine directly with the noble gases that was xenon redon and krypton likewise so this was all about today's lecture i hope you guys understand and if you have any queries you may ask me about that in the comment section and I will get back to you guys soon. So the next topic that we will discuss it is oxidizing properties of the group 7A elements. For that time you guys keep learning and have a good day.